sorry about that. <clears throat> okay, so it doesn't matter which one we want to choose. One of these is going to have 45 degrees here. One of them has 45 degrees here, and you'll see that that makes a right triangle in our new system. So this is where the grace is on this problem, 45 degrees, 45 degrees. You have to just figure out which method works best for you. So we are using up here. So my X component is 3.52 cosine 45. My Y component is 3.52 sine 45. And now we are going to kind of turn our page because I like to have things looking normal to me and not sideways. So when I look at this, I can now sum my forces in the X direction. Okay, they have to equal zero. And I'm going to get a negative 3.52 cosine 45 plus normal equals zero. So I get that my normal force is 3.5245 cosine times 2.49. Okay, I get a positive value, so that lets me know it's a tension member. I can also sum my forces in the y direction. And I can easily find that we have 3.52 sine 45 minus shear equals zero. So our shear is also a positive 2.49 kilonewtons. Um, how far down is C? I need to find my picture again. And it looks like C is uh, two meters down. So we can, I don't know why that's there. Um, we can know that this is two meters. So now when I sum the moments about my cut, Oh, why can't you guys, you guys aren't here to tell me, we can't see the screen anymore. Sum it about the cut, the X component, the normal goes straight through. It's just pulling or pushing. This shear right here is going to cause a negative 3.52 sine 45 times 2 meters. Okay, I have an internal moment at this point, and it's showing clockwise positive plus moment. All of those have to equal zero, so our moment equals... 3.52 times sine 45 times 2, and I get 4.98, 4.98 kilonewton meters. Okay, again, I don't show direction. Positive tells me it's going to have some behavior that looks like that. So take these values, go back, look at your original drawing, and ask yourself, does this make sense?